Forget about title fights. Forget about helicopter Sundays. We've got something even better here. It's a top six battle royal. It's five teams competing for the last two remaining slots in the top six. Welcome back, guys, to episode 39 of the Hearts Career Mode. I still don't know how I'm in a job, but somehow I am down in ninth place. The question is, though, are we going to be in a job much longer? Are we going to be in ninth place much longer? Hopefully not, because after the next two games, we will finalise the top and bottom six split. And we all know we want to be on top, because the Kings are on top and the Peasants are down below. And we're not a team of Peasants, we're a team of Champions, even though we haven't won anything yet. We will win stuff, we just need another season. So if the board can feel generous, if the board can allow us to continue for one more year... I'm pretty sure we will begin to turn things around. But massive game today. All joking aside, we have to win. We need to pick up maximum points. Two wins. A win against Levy. A win against Hibbs and Edward Harvey. And then we'll see where that puts us in the table. I'm thinking six points should be enough to get us the top six. But you, you never know. You don't know what way results will go. We might not even need six points. It is possible that we could get into the top six with like four points. But that is very unlikely. But... All we can do, it's not in our hands, out of all the teams, we've got the worst chance of getting through. All we can do is win our two games and hope that the teams above us slip up. That's all we can do, guys. There's no point complicating it. Win both games and see what happens. With that said, let's get into the first match then against Livingston. So, going to go with an unchanged lineup from the team that won the last match. I mean, why would you change it? We were so good against St Johnston. I'm hoping if we keep the same 11 players, we'll be so good against Livingston. That is my way of thinking. Let's see if it turns out to be true or not. The Livingston team, honestly, not quite sure how they're sitting fourth in the league. It's not a strong team by any means, but they are sitting fourth, so they must be doing something right. Hopefully they don't do much right today, though. Let's get stuck in. Devlin over to Armand Angeli. He's got it. He strikes it, and that is into Rosehead. Oh, Sander Clark, one foot at save. How's he done that? I mean, he's, he's let in some shockers this season, but that could prove to be a massive save. He saves it with his foot as well. Unbelievable stuff, but the danger's still real. The corner gets taken, and it is going to be a goal kick after all that. Okay. Oh, Nongeli skins his man. Our man Nongeli looking for the run of Aaron Hickey, and he's found Hickey. What a bot is. Barry McKay back post, it's blocked, it's not going to get into the box, it's going to be a corner though. Chance here for us to deliver a good ball after all, McKay whips one in, Ginelli was there, so, oh, Nongeli chests it down. Why didn't he strike it, why didn't he go for it, Suter? Big John, ah, oh, John loses it. Good challenge for Suter, lovely stuff. Kingsley tries to play his way to danger. Didn't work out for him. Danger's here. Danger's real. But so is Sander Clark. Sander Clark's very real. And he's pulled off a really good save. Keeping us still level here. Low driven shot. And Sander Clark gets down low to make the save. Impressive goalkeeping here. He, he, he saved us in the last game. He got us the point. And now he's, he's picking up where he left off here. Pulling off a good save. It's Ginelli though. Ginelli looking to find Mackay. And again, it's not a good enough ball. Anderson gets through. Kingsley, though, good challenge. Anderson now to Stevie O'Donnell. O'Donnell cuts inside. O'Donnell looking for the ball. Oh, Gine what a ball that is, but Ginelli straight offside. And it's going to be Hearts then taking it short. Suter. Still John Suter. Suter. Footer, man, non and he scuffs it. He scuffs it wide. What an opportunity that is. That has to be a goal. I mean, you, you can't hit the shot that bad. Surely not from a striker. Unreal. Should be 1-0. But it's still 0-0. Barry McKay. Come on, Barry McKay. Keep pleasing Cammy Devlin. Devlin now. He's charging into space. It's still Devlin. He's got O'Donnell running in. It's Stevie O'Donnell. Stevie O'Donnell! Forces a save after the goalkeeper. And we have been given a corner. Thank you very much, Livingston. For your generosity, ball whipped in, it's going to fall for absolutely nobody that we want it to. And it's back in towards, again, nobody that we want it to. And Livingston now will clear the danger. Try to ball over the top, but Devlin is there and he takes care of that. 
Devlin then cuts inside both Livingston players and Devlin, I mean Devlin here, you can tell this guy is just absolute quality. He's played a good ball to Armand Angeli who tried to get a free kick I think, but it, uh, the Livingston guy, he won the ball, fair play to him. Ginelli, oh Ginelli finds Armand Angeli! Oh no, that was saved by the keeper! And, oh, he punched him in the heat, referee! And ah, oh, Fitzwater comes out, or Parker comes out to collect the ball, but surely that was a foul, it might have been a penalty. We need to see a replay, referee, no interest in them for some reason. Here we go, this time it's through to Halkett, it's a good, good ball, it's Halkett, and towards Armand Angeli! Oh, what? How's he missed that? How the fuck's he missed that? What a useless bastard, man, he deserves punched in the face, punched him again, goalie. How the hell is he not scored that? Our man Nonji, he can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nobody can believe it. Oh no! Well, we've been lucky there. I mean, not <laughs> the AI normally would not miss a chance like that. Thankfully for us, though, they have missed it. They put it wide. It's nil nil at the break. We need to win this. A draw is not enough. A draw is not enough. Rangers are beating Dundee, St Mirren are beating Hibernian, that's not what we wanted, we wanted Hibs to beat St Mirren, St Johnston are drawn, that's good for us, Ross County are getting beat, that's phenomenal, that's what we need, we need Ross County to get beat, Hibs doesn't really matter, I mean I would rather Hibs win because it means St Mirren are catchable for us as well, if St Mirren win today then we can't catch St Mirren, so we can catch Hibs regardless if we win this and beat Hibs, so I do want Hibs to win that one, but the Mullerwell, that Mullerwell scoreline is absolutely perfect. So, so far, so good, guys, out of those results. Oh, no, Bob Anderson out wide. He gets past his man. Suter's going to try and track him down. Wow, what a challenge for Suter. Edge of the box. You have to make those ones. You cannot get them wrong, but he got it 100% right. And now we're trying to get this counter-attack right. It's Kingsley to Armand. Nonjali Janelli is trying to make the run, but we can't really get it to him. Back to Devlin. To Kingsley, back to Devlin, it's Cammy, Devlin, he's going to strike it, saved again by the keeper, Ginelli's there, Ginelli gets the ball, come on, Ginelli to Cammy Devlin, Cammy Devlin forces another good save at Parker, something stuck in my fucking throat, don't know what it was, but they wish we could get the ball stuck in the net at the moment, it's not happening, uh, Parker, double handed save, that one goes out for a corner kick. Can we get a good ball delivery in? It's, oh, no, it's, oh, it's took a bunch of deflections through to Fitzwater. And Livingston will clear the danger. But only as far as Cammy Devlin, who is the danger. He's the danger man for us. It's Barry McKay. Barry McKay looking to play in Stevie O'Donnell. O'Donnell, he sees Cammy Devlin running in. And O'Donnell needs a, a better ball than that, and that's 1-0. But O'Donnell, couldn't they play the pass that we needed for him? And it still remains 0-0. And there's a chance here. It's Bob Anderson. He's running through. This is a goal that could end our hopes here. It could end everything. I might end my life if this goes in. Please do not. Oh, Sander Clark with a phenomenal save. And he gets up and grabs the ball as well. Double save from the big man. He's been phenomenal these last two games. Ball now launched up to Barry McKay. Who might actually get on this. Oh, so close to getting that. So close to getting that Parker, we need a mistake from him, is he going to make one? Doesn't look like it, Livingston trying to, that's actually, that was good play up until that pass, that was horrendous there, that was horrendous. It's Ginelli, good bit of play now, back to Ginelli, out wide, Ginelli will keep this in. Ginelli then taking it past one man, he's got Suter on the edge of the box, it's John Suter takes a touch, takes a block, was there a pan ball in there, penalty. Anything. We'll take anything. Suter. Back to Nonjali. Ah, oh, Nonjali! Why can't we have a good striker that can fucking score when I hit the B button? That's all I'm asking for. Now it's Roddick. Roddick here looking to end our misery, end our chances at top six. Halkett has to get that! So oh, it's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. Do we bring on Roberts? We're going to bring on Roberts. Screw it. Our man Nonjali is not really doing it for me today. We're going to bring on Jordan Roberts, who never does it, but he's got a chance to do it here and make himself a hero. So we'll see how he gets on in these last wits. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Roberts plays it to Cammy Devlin. 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 He's got a great ball out to Aaron Hickey. Aaron Hickey will keep it in. Aaron Hickey whips one in. It's a poor ball, though, for Aaron Hickey. We need it better than that. He wins it back, though. Benny. 
Bennett to Cammy Devlin, the space is there, Cammy Devlin, the space is there! And he pulls it wide of the target man, the wee man, who scores goals galore. Can he score here when it matters the most? Just wide, I mean look at that, almost getting touched in by the defender. But it just goes agonisingly, wide of the target, wide of the post. We might be wide of the top six finishing spot at the moment, unless we can get a goal, it's Ginelli. Ginelli, come back the way to Benenjami. Benjamin to Barry McKay, lays it off to Cammy Devlin, good play, shot blocked, and again, Livingston hanging on here. Benjamin, through to Roberts, Roberts, shot blocked again. Anderson getting cornered, but he's managed to get his way up the, the box. Oh uh, no, it's a chance here, Livingston are looking dangerous, oh no, 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 and just like that, Livingston have taken the lead. And it could be a lead that denies us a top six finish. We were pushing and pushing and pushing. Couldn't push any fucking harder. I thought we were pregnant. I thought we were trying to pop out a kid there for a second. That's how hard I was pushing here to get that goal. It's no happened. And what has happened is Sabal there. And you have to give him credit. I mean, I thought he was called Sabal. Apparently it's Lionel Messi we're playing against. And he's put that into the bottom of the corner there. Uh, this could be us at the top six, guys. I think we need at least a draw to have a realistic chance of still making it. So we'll see. We'll see. This is a massive, uh, a massive 15 minutes remaining. We need to get at least one goal. But realistically, I think we need two. I think we need two, but we'll see what we can get. I mean, at the moment, we need one, so it doesn't matter. We need to get something here. Kingsley. Kingsley. Mackay! Mackay! Saved by the keeper again. Parker having a great game, unfortunately for us. Barry Mackay, face in his hands there, looking distraught. Mackay whip in the corner. Halkett's there. Halkett heads it towards goal. He falls in the box. Is that a penalty? No, it's no. Every time a Hearts player goes down there, I'm going to claim a penalty. I'm probably not going to get any, but I'll try. I'll see if it works. We'll claim penalty to Hearts and see if the ref gives us them. Uh, O'Donnell wins that. Good. That's fantastic for O'Donnell. Barry McKay then to Roberts. Roberts trying to hold up the play. He does for Ginelli. But we've been forced a bit further back here than I would have liked. It's Roberts to McKay to Walker. Jimmy Walker through! Oh, McKay! No, McKay, get that! No, and it's into the hands of Parker, man. Oh, oh no. Oh, fucking no. Devlin. Devlin's trying to get past us, and Devlin's through. Devlin's through. Devlin's through. Oh, and he gives it away. Hickey there. Denying Livingston a chance to go 2 0 up and end our hopes in the top six. Thank God for Aaron Hickey. And now it was Roberts. He's found Devlin. Devlin. Back to Roberts. Back to Devlin. This is good play. It's Devlin. In towards Ginelli. Ginelli scores. And we've got five minutes now to try. To try and rescue a win. Can we do it, Ginelli? Look at that. Holy shit. How can he do all those moves? If he can, surely if he can celebrate like that, he can easily put the ball in the back of the net for a second time. The Livingston players have fainted. Go and get them a drink, man. We'll need, we'll need, will we need a drink if we win this game? A drink of the hard stuff, but at the moment, we are trying here to grab a winner. It's Josh Ginelli. He's given us a lifeline with four minutes to go. Can we find the winner that we need here to guarantee our place on the top six? It's in our own hands, but only if we win this match. And at the moment, we're not winning it. But let's tell you what, Suter's won that ball back. And we might have one more opportunity, we might have one more attack. Devlin. Roberts. It's Jordan Roberts! Oh, saved! Saved! Barry McKay needs to get to... He doesn't, there's two minutes he had it on time here. We're literally running out of fucking time. Suter to Walker. There's time running. Oh, no, it's not been played through. And Livingston will surely clear this. That was our last chance. That was our last chance. It's going to finish here at 1 1. Oh, no. We had the opportunity. We wasted the opportunity. But we'll need to wait and see what the results were, guys. Sander Clark kept us in it at the start. Then we took over in the second half. We absolutely dominated, but it was Livingston that took the lead. I could not believe it. We got one goal back, but we couldn't go on to win. Look at that. Expected goals. Six expected goals, but we could only get one. And that one might not be enough, guys. We now have to wait and see what the other team's done. Ross County got beat. That's great. St. Johnston got beat. That's great. I didn't see the Hibs score. It was too fast. It was far too fast for us. Okay.
All right, that's how the table looks. It's not exactly what I wanted to see. But what this means is, let's break it down, guys. What this means is, going into the last game, we can no longer catch Hibernian. So that's done. We can't catch Hibernian because um, we drew, unfortunately. We can catch St Mirren, but only if St Mirren get beat. Because St Mirren have superior goal difference. A draw will be enough for them against Dundee United. And we can catch Ross County. But we need them not to beat Dundee. A draw is okay. Ross County can afford to draw. But we, they can't afford to. If they win, we can't catch them. And if St Mirren pick up anything against Dundee United, we cannot catch them. And that is it. But for any of this to matter, guys, we need to win. And look at that, Motherwell now joining in the fight as well. In 11th place, Dundee United as well. Both of those teams coming from near-death situations. And now they are in the fight as well for this last top six spot. Hibs have secured it. Hibs will be getting top six no matter what. Unless, unless there's an absolute fucking miracle. It would take Ross County and St Mirren to both win their games by about 10 goals for them to catch Hibs. All we can do is win and hope that St Mirren lose and hope that Ross County don't win. And it's a Hibs up next, man. It's going to be absolutely massive. Oh, I mean, this is insane. But again, is the board going to let us play it? Is the board going to give us time? Or will the board think that draw signals the end of our heart's career? Let's find out. Dundee United just picked up the win as we spoke about. It looks like the board are going to allow us to play this Hibs game. I think they are. Okay, so here we go then. Last game before the split. We're going to play this one in its entirety. So this will not be highlights. This will be the full thing. So let's see if we can pull off the win that we need. Who's going to start up front? I think we're going to go with Roberts. He, he scored. No, he didn't score in the last game. But you know what? We scored when he was on the pitch. That's good enough for me. We're going to go with Roberts. Everything else is unchanged. And let's see if we can pull off this great escape. Remember, guys, we need to win. And we need Ross County not to win. And we need St Mirren to lose. So it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, 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 very tough. It's our fault, guys, for leaving it so late. I mean, I can't even score a penalty. It's our fault for leaving it so late. I knew this was the risk of happening. Uh, we really needed to beat Livingston. If we had to beat Livingston, we would have been in such a great position going into this game. But we didn't. Like I said, four points might do it. But it is unlikely. It is not... Um, it's not the odds aren't in our favour. Let's put it that way. I would say our chances of getting top six is probably... I'd say about 10%. Which is you know probably better than it looked about five games ago. Because no one really thought we were going to pick up a couple of wins. But we did. But those couple of wins might not be enough. Unless we win here and results go our way. So uh, let's get started. A quick start. Hopefully we can take the lead. Hopefully we can just win this game easily. And then... We can focus on results elsewhere, score lines elsewhere. At the moment, though, it's a decent start for us. Ball played out to Suter, who is... I don't, know why he's, I don't know why he's down there, but the ball is not good enough regardless, so it will not matter. Either way, and Hibbs taking care of that, playing their way out of danger. I was trying to put pressure on them, but... Nah. <laughs> Hibbs calmly taking care of it. We go back to Suter. Suter to Cammy Devlin. Devlin... See Roberts, he sees Roberts, he sees Roberts, but he's not using Roberts. Oh, and he gets shrugged off the ball there. Is that not going to be a free kick? Doesn't look like it. It's McGuinness against John Sutter. Sutter, oh no, McGuinness beats against the better of Sutter. But Sutter comes back for round two and Sutter wins, so that's what you like to see. First, you don't succeed, try again. Now Suter launching an attack. Suter charging forward. Suter finds Barry Mackay. It's Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay. Brilliant for Barry Mackay. Go! Barry Mackay, just like that. 11 minutes in. We've cut the burning open. It's the Barry Mackay show. And he showed everyone how to put the ball into the back of the net. Cuts in from out wide. Destroys the Hibs defence. Blasts it past the goalkeeper. It's Hearts 1. It's Hibs now. Now we can begin to dream, but it's too early to celebrate because we still need those other two results to go our way. So let's not get ahead of ourselves here. 
Still a massive game. This game is far from one. And the other results need to go our way if we're going to get top six here. But we'll give ourselves a fighting chance. That's all we could do. And at the moment, we've done it. So let's see how we can carry on here. I would like score updates. I don't think we're going to get any till half time. So we'll just have to pray that St Mirren are losing. We'll just have to pray that... Oh no, he's been caught in there! Oh, Sander Clark! Big fucking Sander Clark. What a guy. What an absolute hero. Makes that save there. Now the ball will get whipped in. It's headed towards Porte. Yes, it's Ginelli. Takes it down on the line. Ginelli now trying to play his way out of danger. He finds Aaron Hickey. And it's Hickey here to launch a counter. Plays it back to Beninjami. Hickey continuing his run. Oh, and Ginelli. What the hell was that? Beninjami there. Come on. You have to do better there, son. Can't lose it like that. He committed a lot of men forward and then he didn't get a chance. And now it is Mackay. It's Mackay. Oh, Sander Clark. Good tackle. Or good save, even. <laughs> Mackay again turns the Hibernian defender. Barry Mackay now running past Josh Doidge. It's Barry Mackay. It's the Barry Mackay show. Barry Mackay does what he wants. He's, well, he's won a corn. Oh, he has he! Ginelli! Oh, Roberts! Oh, Roberts, the ball was right there, man. That's a tapping. That's a fucking tapping, mate. And you've, you've refused to tap it. Roberts, no tapping when the opportunity came begging for him to tap it in. Unreal. Can't believe he didn't score that. Ball now out to Boyle. It's back and forth here. Hibernian. Oh, no, Boyle has just completely done him in. Boyle, oh, no. Great save for Sander Clark. And another great save for Sander, Sander Clark. Pulling out all the stops here. And then trolling the Hibernian strikers before rolling it out. Aaron Hickey out. Coming forward, plays it to Ginelli, Ginelli. Ginelli looking for Barry Mackay, Mackay. Trying to head it down, but Devlin's been brought... Devlin's been fouled off the ball, but again, the referee just... They get, never seem to give free kicks against Devlin, or for Devlin even, it's strange. Maybe they hate him, maybe they don't like Aussies or something. Maybe they're racist against kangaroos, I don't know. But at the moment, it's still 1-0 hearts, we're still in a good position. Trying to make a challenge there. It's not quite happened. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, great tackle. Another good tackle. Come on. We're tackling for our lives here. It's Roberts. Roberts waiting for Ginelli. Roberts. Totten's back. Plays it to Cammy. Devlin. Devlin back up to Roberts. Roberts chests it down. It's Jordan Roberts. He's into space. Roberts. Shit shot. Absolute shit shot. I cannot believe after all that, that's what the end product from Jordan Roberts was. Unreal. Martin Boyle. Not much defensive cover there. And McGinnis. Good tackle for Halkett. Trying to get to half time here with the lead intact. At the moment, things are going pretty well for us. Cammy Devlin plays O'Donnell. O'Donnell flicks it up to Roberts. It was not a great pass. And it just gives Hibbs an opportunity to get another possession in this game. Mackay. De Boyle. We're in trouble now. We are in trouble now. In big trouble. Nisbet. He's looking to get a shot away. We're, we're forcing him back, and it's another great save for Sander Clark. And that one has been it for a corner. I mean, Sander Clark, he, the last few games, he has been, he's been unreal. He's been the best player for us. Even including that game against St. Johnston, where he only needed to make two saves. It was the magnitude of those saves, right at the end. But ball in, he needs to get that, somebody needs to get it, we've got a header on it. It's going to fall for Hickey. Hickey will run on his own. He's got Ginelli with him. And he's... I don't know. What the is that, man? Come on, Hickey. At least give Ginelli an opportunity to get on it. He can't get on that. Referee blows for half time, guys. It's nil-nil. Now we're about to see what the other results are. The other results are crucial. And it's only showing us one. So I take it the other games are tomorrow. But Livingston are beating Rangers. So I didn't expect that. But uh, yeah, we've, so we've no idea what the results are like. Hibs 
are pushing for an equaliser. They probably feel like they deserve one. We're going to try and make sure they don't get it. And uh, all we can do, guys, is just win our match here. We need to hold on, make sure we get the three points, and we'll see exactly what happens in the other games. And if they go our way, then we are into the top six. If they don't, then it's, it's depressing. It really is. But we've tried. We really have tried here. We've tried to get this top six position. It's Roberts. Roberts is trying to skin his man. Walks about in circles and doesn't really lead to anything. Oh, we've tried to make that tackle. That's not really good enough. Oh, no, it's Boyle. Look at the pace of Martin Boyle. Just runs past Kingsley. He wasn't there. But Kingsley then sticks a leg in. It will be a book in here for Craig Halkett. Picks up a yellow card. It's into the referee's notepad. Uh, can someone take care of this, though? It's going to fall for Ginelli. It's good stuff. Ginelli. Oh, no, and Ginelli's tried to... We've tried to play our way out of danger. This is dangerous. Oh, and just like that, it was dangerous, and we get what we deserve. Hibs have equalised. The goal for McGuinness. I tried to play it with Ginelli. I shouldn't have bothered. I've made a mistake. Gave Hibs a way back into this game. And, uh, yeah, now we literally need... doesn't matter about the other results. And now it's back to us. We need to get a way back into the lead here. Or else we will definitely not be getting top six. So let's see. 30 odd minutes remaining. Can we find a second goal? To be fair, I think Hibs probably deserve that. And we deserve to be punished for our shit decision making at the back. So yeah, no, I have no complaints about that goal. Apart from the fact we were garbage for it. Here we go, Barry McKay. Barry McKay trying to open up an opportunity. Trying to unlock the door in front of him. Without the key, but it looks like... Come on, Ginelli. Ginelli to Barry McKay. Oh, shot blocked. I don't know. The keeper was diving. Don't know if he would have got it or not. And that's that's perfect. O'Donnell there. You have to get that. You have to realise that Suter's heading that down to you. Hibs again now coming forward. It's been played out to McGuinness. McKay is tracking back. Oh, good interception for Kingsley. And again, he feel like if we go behind, it's going to be really, really difficult to get two goals to get us into the top six. We've got a chance here, we won, but if we go behind, it's going to be really, really difficult. It's Roberts, it's Cammy Devlin, it's through to O'Donnell. O'Donnell is going to try and pick out nobody. <laughs> And the referees gave it. How, how can he be getting offside? We played the ball backwards. We fucking played the ball backwards. How can he be offside? Ah, oh, man. You tell I don't understand. You tell me. You tell me. How can that... I don't know. Unless he gave a free kick. But, I mean, what would he give a free kick? There was nothing happened. How can he give a free kick? I don't know if that's good bit of play there. But Halkett comes across. and Big, big Halkett there. Doing the job that we need them to do. Right, let's go. Let's go, Benny. Keep on rolling, son. Roll forward. Need to roll with these punches. That's not good enough. It deserves a fucking punch after that. But a lot of players getting punched. Right, here we go. Come on. Devlin out to Josh Ginelli. Ginelli in towards Jordan Roberts. Roberts spins around. Roberts to Benjami. Suto. Devlin. We are running out of time here. It's... Barry McKay, it's Benjamin. Oh, Ginelli was there and he's went for the shot. It's a decent save though. We're going to bring on Jamie Walker. We're going to bring on Walker. Barry McKay looking for a good corner kick. It's headed away. Devlin heads it down to Craig Halkett. And that was poor. I knew the shot wasn't going to be good, so I, I should have just took it. I should have just accepted the shot wasn't good. Instead, I tried to do something else and end up losing the ball. And the tack now completely gone. Hibs back in possession. But they've gave it away and we can't take advantage. So close there. To working something, but it that wasn't to be. Good a good tackle for O'Donnell. Right, come on. Time is running out here. We need if we're gonna make something happen, it needs to happen right now. Aaron Hickey. Aaron Hickey. Aaron Hickey lays it off to Cammy Devlin! 
Oh, another save for the goalkeeper, man. Cammy Devlin cannot seem to get past this man today. Ugh. We tried, but it wasn't enough. Here we go, Scott Allen's coming on. We need to get a good delivery here. Barry McKay whips one in. It's too close to the goalkeeper. He will collect that, Matt Macy. Having an absolute field day with that one. Throws it out to Boyle. Oh, now close to getting a block on that, but... Oh, so close, man. I can't intercept these balls at the moment. It's good stuff for Hibbs, so I don't like this. Suter, though, I like that. I like that a lot for John Suter. Brilliant. Like Devlin. Halkett. Running out of time. Nine minutes remaining. It's Jordan Roberts. Jordan Roberts. Oh, Cammy Devlin lays it off to Stephen Kingsley. Stephen Kingsley into the box. And again, completely mishits it. Completely mishits it. We're bringing on Alex Cochrane. I don't know why, but we're, we need to do something, so why not? Um, ball taken short for the goalkeeper. Oh, good challenge for Halkett. Brilliant. Well, Walker picking it up. Walker now coming forward. Oh, Jimmy Walker. Back to Jimmy Walker. Jimmy Walker. Oh, no. Saved by the goalie. Saved by the goalie in the dying minutes. Oh, shite. I thought Walker was through. He was through, but I thought he was going to score. Oh, Mackay. Come on, Barry Mackay. Needs a good ball. Oh, Roberts was there. Couldn't get to it. Ginelli brings it down. Josh Ginelli. Blocked again. Hibbs coming forward now. If Hibbs can get past this here, it looks like they may see you at the game. They may get the draw. A draw is all they need to deny us. Back all the way to Matt Macy and now we're running out of time. I don't even know if we're going to get one more possession. Matt Macy trying to give us a bit of hope there. But he manages to play his way out. And I don't think we're going to get the ball. How sick. I do not think we're going to get the ball back here. We ain't unless that's offside. It's not offside. It's through to Doidge. Sander Clark will come out and grab it. But that's it. That is it, guys. We ain't going to get the win. Oh, and it's, it's, it's so shit. It's so fucking shit. We had an opportunity to win it there. Right at the end, Jamie Walker couldn't direct the ball into the back of the net. And in a close game, I mean, Hibs were the better team first half. We pushed on in the second half. We tried, we tried, we tried, but we couldn't do enough to get the win. Rangers came back. They got a draw against Livingston. I'll be absolutely sick if Ross County didn't... If Ross County didn't win and St Mirren got beat, I will be absolutely sick. I don't think we know the results. We do know that we are in the bottom six, so, so let's have a look and see how the the full table finished then. Let's see. Since Premiership, first stage. So Ross County won. So, I mean, not that it makes me feel it. It makes me feel a bit better, I guess. I would have felt like absolute shit had, um, had we been able to go through. Had we won, but we wouldn't have went through anyway because Ross County picked up the points. Um, but yeah, strange one. You can see Dundee United there beating St Mirren. That's what we needed. We needed St Mirren to get beat. They did get beat, but unfortunately we couldn't do our job. We couldn't beat Hibs, and that is why uh, we are not going to be in the top six, guys. Uh, we've got, you know, we're in fourth. We can still finish top of this group, which is not great, but I feel like it's damage limitations, maybe. If we top the championship group, then, you know, maybe the board will just change their mind and allow us to stay one more season. But that's going to happen next time out. I might just include this entire bottom group into the one episode and just do the five matches then. Because, I mean, these are essentially dead matches. You can't even get relegated from the Scottish Premiership. So, yeah, I mean, keep in mind, yeah, the, I mean, it's, it's, it's essentially five crap games, isn't it, really, when you, when you think about it. That's good there, guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the top six split. Tried and tried and tried, but it wasn't to be. I'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you want to give me abuse like everyone else does for not being good enough with hearts, then feel free to do so. But I genuinely believe next year will be our year if we're given the chance. Anyway, that's it. Till then, peace.